What I do YouTube, my name is Jinxed, and this is a brand new mini playthrough. Technically, I have recorded this once, but you all did not see it because I watched it back myself, and I didn't like it. I did not like it at all. Uh, I pre-watch everything uh, before I edit it and render it, and if I personally don't find it entertaining, I just, I, I dismiss it, and I'm like, no, I, I don't think you all want to watch it, so I got rid of it. Um, so this is attempt two. Um, I actually know a little bit about the game. I've been playing it for a little bit. Uh, so I don't need to go through the tutorial or all that. I usually like to have everything, uh, especially in newer games, fresh first playthrough. But um, I was just like so distraught and like there's just so much going on that even though it looks like a really simple game, there's uh, just so much going on in it and like there's a lot to take in. So like first time if you're not pumped for it and like you're just exploring it. It's kind of uh, a lot to take in at one time, and I think the volume might actually be too loud. Okay, uh, I apologize that the volume was really loud. I I don't know if it is, though. Um, I think last time I recorded this, though. What am I up to now? I'm up to 84. Okay, now I can hear it, so... Alright. There. Um, okay. There. Let's, let's go with that. Alright. But, uh, so I've already played this a little bit. As you can see here, I've, uh, I have two different spaceships where when you start, you only get one. Um, I personally like this one better. I get a lot further with this one. Uh, but I want to get, uh, this one. This achievement for this, uh, and I bought this on the website so I don't have Steam achievements or anything like that. Because when it comes to a lot of indie games, I like to buy it directly from them because it just makes me feel like they get or getting more out of it. If unless, because this game came out on Steam a couple days ago, which is when I, I was like, oh, what's this game? It sounds pretty cool. And then I uh, went onto the website and I was like, oh wow, this actually does seem pretty cool. So I went ahead and uh, got it on the website. Um, so. Uh, I'm going to be attempting to have this, get this achievement, which is have every system and subsystem installed on the cruiser in one time. And, uh, honestly, I don't know what that means. I'm going to go ahead and start real quick just because, uh, uh, just, oh, shit, one second. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I was, uh. I'm, I'm expecting a package to be dropped off, and I didn't want to leave him at the door because it's fucking hot here again. Like, I have my fan on again. I always say I apologize if y'all hear the fan, which you all can never hear anytime I say that. Alright, but okay, so uh, it it's really kind of a lot. It's sort of like home where everything, there's no cutscenes, there's nothing like that. Everything is described to you or like let you known with text so like uh you know when you are doing a jump and you're going to a new solar system or whatever you want to call it or a new sector or whatever um it'll like give you this little thing and it tells you what you get and whatnot um okay so i am humans currently and see it's like an rts where like you can drag and drop select people or just do a huge box back up front you go there so it's a pretty fun game I like it um okay so this is this is where I get a little confused okay set achievement fully uh, full arsenal this is to have every system which are all these which I already have and every subsystem installed at one time um, I don't know if it means maxed because I have them all and I have most of them all on technically sort of but I don't I don't understand how to get it but yeah so uh, I'm gonna be humans this time even though um, I don't know I, I never seem to do well with uh, uh, humans it's hard to see why but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination one of the ships at this small station is offering a deal why don't I have any drone parts because I'm not NGs all right <laughs> oh fuck great all right so you can pause the game at any time, which is really good. Um, this auto-fire button, when it's gold like that, it's on. Uh, 
my number one right here is my missile and I have eight missiles I can use and then uh, my number two is a burst laser which is just laser uses no fuel missiles can penetrate shields every single time unless if the whole missile misses because there are like chances like that kind of like a RPG and each weapon has a different um, as you can see a different it's harder to see here because these both have the same charge time like this one is a a little bit faster than the Artemis alright so we just did a bunch of damage to him and so he's uh, sending us a uh, surrender he's surrendering um, most of the time I'm in it more for the scrap than the fuel or missiles but um, since I am a human I actually do need missiles pretty hardcore and see this guy since I put him in the engine room he's just going to uh, he's just going to uh, repair away alright here's another big thing alright so I have two fires now in my uh, in my hull which is well my whole ship is my hull uh, the best way to get rid of it is you can open individual doors like that and suffocate it because no oxygen, no fire. And when it gets that orange bar around it, that room, it means it's fully out of oxygen. So now that I got to do is close all these doors and then reopen them all with this button. That way it dissipates. Please don't be in the engine room again. Seriously, I am. I really use a break. All right, that's perfect. Suffocate that room. I don't even care. Oh, we can almost get out of here now. Sweet. All right, after All right, you go to the med bay and you go back to your missile station. All right, can't jump yet. All right, actually, you go there. You over there. Nah, <laughs> I died. Oh shit. Alright. See, this is uh this is what I mean by jumping. I forgot to talk about this the first time I did it. But like when you're going from one point on the map to another is what I call jumping. It says right there. I love doing the distress things because uh uh it can get you some really cool shit. So now I accepted to uh or agreed to help them out. So now I got to lead them to their destination, which can be good or bad. It can honestly go either way. All right. Uh, he's got missiles, which is no bueno. Missiles hurt really badly. So I'm going to want to immediately destroy his missiles. All right, missiles are done. I'm gonna stop using my Artemis now. I gotta wait for him to repair. Which is shitty because my burst laser requires more power. Actually, I'll go ahead and just keep it on then, I guess. Though I can take out the shields permanently. Right, so this pretty much right here in the top left while this stupid repair weight is going on uh, is... Uh, I don't want drone parts, so I'm just going to go ahead and kill you. I hope you don't mind. Alright, but this uh, green bar is your total HP, then you have your shields here, which always regenerates, and then holy shit, I didn't even notice that dude was on fire. Oh, fuck. Alright, so, thankfully with the uh, human ship, you have a lot more options when it comes to trying to suffocate things out. Like, if I wanted to, I could, uh, as soon as all these guys are healed, I'm going to pull them all back to there open up all these doors just that way it immediately all gets sucked out now I gotta close them all and open them all again so it dissipates all right it's now safe Beth is my girl she goes there he goes there I'm gonna put him in here too that way they can quickly repair this thing get the hell out of here <clears throat> um, there are six different species in this game I believe um, you have humans, you have NG, you have slugs, you have Zoltans, you have rocks, and then you have... I think that's it, actually. I can't be for sure, though. Okay, so he's just great. I hate, I honestly hate... Oh, and you have mantises, okay. Uh, I honestly hate, uh, this shit. 
I honestly don't want to buy anything. Um, okay, I guess I can fix my hole. Buy some more missiles, just that way I can use missiles more often. Oh look, a store. Yay. Alright, so now, great. F okay, these... Alright, this green bar annoys the shit out of me. Because, uh, from what I'm used to, which I'll show you in a sec, is, uh, usually, like in World of Warcraft or other RPG games, when you see green numbers, it means you're healing them. Which is no bueno. Oh, what's it going for? That's not good. Alright, so, I took away his overshield, I guess, and now I just have his shield. Alright, his weapons are all gone now, which is sweet. So now I'm going to stop using the missiles, I'm just going to go for the shield. <clears throat> and then as soon as I get the shield down to even orange, I start going for the engine. That way he can't run away if he tries to. We'll see what happens though. Three shots. Uh, I, I like, I like missiles, so yeah, I'll accept that. Alright, now I'm leaving. And I will show you. Alright, so, a lot of the times, uh, this is like a, uh, a mini section, I guess? Or this is a, a sector, a part of the whole universe, and I guess? What you're trying to do is get to this far red dot, which, honestly, I have yet to do. Um, oh shit, I should have stayed on that uh, screen for a minute. Oh well. Um, you, if you want to pause and go back really quick as I'm explaining this, the purple dots are pretty much giant sectors, like this map, filled with this purple storm stuff, where like all your shit gets fucked up and you can't see a damn thing. Green which is the one I went to, is a, uh, a friendly place. It's, a uh, well, quote-unquote friendly. It's not like you can just pass through with the breeze and you don't fight anything, but it's allegedly, like, a friendly species that you're friends with. Red is, uh, hostile places. So, yeah, so purple is neutral. Uh, green is, well, purple doesn't necessarily mean neutral, but it just means it has a lot of purple stuff in it, which no one really goes for. Um, green is civilized, red is hostile. Um, a lot of the times you'll come to things like this where you can either go through the storms and have disrupted uh, sensors or you can like take this nice and clear path but most of the time you take the nice and clear path you get gang raped by like just battle after battle after battle and then I go this way and I get into a fight anyway. Um, so this guy has an ion and a laser and just one shield so I'm just going to use my burst laser and take that out and they each gain traits as they work with one of the uh, systems more and more so see look he's already he already can't use either of his weapons so that, that would have been a waste of a missile so I'm going to take out the shield Right now I'm gonna take out the engine. That's just an ion, I don't care about that. The only thing you do really is get rid of my shields for a little bit of time. Uh two missiles. I didn't even use a missile, so no, I'm just gonna kill him. See look, he disrupted my shields. Oh no. Apparently he can't even get to his engine to repair it, so. That's sweet. All right, got extra scrap. I love scrap. Oh shit! All right. I actually should be reading that, but most of the time I'm 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 just uh, trying to, you know, figure out stuff. All right. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. The ship is trying to power up. Alright, in these cases where you have a ship and it says that we're trying to power up and leave to go, tell the rebels how far you are. Oh, sh- whoa. I don't remember getting this guy. That's cool. Actually, you go there. You go there. Take one of- Whatever. Um, Alright, but in these cases like this where you have someone trying to flee- 
Most time you can just go for their engine, because most time they don't even shoot. But it looks like this guy will shoot, because you can see this thing's powering up right there. Yep, you shot. Wow. Dick move. Why was my O2 not on? Oh shit! Since I had auto fire on, I forgot I was wasting missiles. Damn it. That's no bueno. Alright, I can only actually put three in the medic bay to repair it, so. That's all I'm gonna do. But these are the, uh, these are the Zoltans, right? This guy's a Zoltan? Or whatever? Or Zoltan? Shit, what are you? Yeah, he's the Zoltan. Okay. Oh! I had to itch my thingy. Alright, so you go back there. Beth, you back to your position. Mason. No, wait, what are you? You were originally shields, okay. Alright. See, the cool thing about this guy is he powers up whatever he's near, so I have an extra bar now to do whatever I want, so I want to put it there. I also forgot to talk about this screen. Um, you can upgrade your ship as if it's, you know, like, you're playing an RPG and it's your character. So, what I usually try to do is... Get two bars of uh, the reactor and get two bars of shields. I can't get the shields immediately right now, as you saw, but you know, hopefully soon I can. Oh crap! This is another issue where you have people board your ship and you didn't put them there. Alright. Oh shit. This is no bueno. Alright, what I'm going to have to do is pretty much let this fight go on as long as I can. Which is just a little bit longer. Alright, now I send all my people. No! I lost the NG! God damn it! Send them back to the med bay. And then wait. Because they're all going to probably come here. Yep. I send them all back. Oh, wow. I don't think that was in their best interest. All right. All right, got rid of two of them. Need to hurry this up. I bring back here because now it's two v three or three v two. I'm gonna send those two there since this guy's more health. Let's start preparing this thing because we're about to all start suffocating. All right. Perfect. That went decent. I lost a crew member, unfortunately. That's not so decent, but you win some, you lose some. So, oh well. Alright. I'm going to get them all here, I'm going to heal them all, and then I will set them back to their posts. They didn't give me shit. That's fucking retarded. I don't understand why my sensors are out currently. Temporarily disabled by enemy or location. Well, I'm not in a storm, and the enemies are gone, so I don't exactly understand why it's still like that. Ooh, distress beacon. I love those. Kind of. They can be good, they can be bad. Uh. I always try and go for survivors. You go to the engine, man. That sucks. That NG would have made power... Or utilizing power so much better. Damn it, that's a real... Uh, three for... Dr Fuck that. Alright, so here you go. So you have civilian sectors, which are chill green ones, you have red ones which are hostile, and then these are just nebulas which, uh, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, they're usually just full of that purple shit. Like that. Ooh, I'm gonna go backwards. Uh, yeah, I'll give you four, four fuel. Ooh, damn, look at that. Two damage per room. <laughs> cool. 
Alright. Uh, I might sell that, actually, just because most of the time... Um, oh, wow. Great. Awesome. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, it doesn't exactly matter what you shoot at this. This overshield, it absorbs everything. Like an ass. Find out though. Yep, it absorbs everything. Like an ass. Great. Now I'm literally only shooting the Artemis. Perfect. Alright, well now that shield's gone. Unless if I miss, like an ass. I really need to get rid of that shield ASAP. Alright, shield's gone. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of their weapons now. There we go. Good man. Alright, we are getting pretty low. Oh shit. Whoa, my bad. We're getting pretty low on our hull. What was that? Oh, I love... Okay, those dings are good dings. I always forget about those. Alright, so... I don't know if you all heard that ding, but that means this person has leveled up one of their skills. Which, that means she's an expert pilot, which actually, I don't even know what that does. Not gonna lie. No fucking clue. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the store. And... I really do love the scrap recovery arm. See, I didn't even get to use that. It sells for 35k. So yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Um, I'll take that. I'll repair to there. I'll buy a missile. All right. Okay. Jump. I usually hate going through these storms, but they're also usually the safest. Usually. Oh, great. Okay, these guys are pains in the asses. And I don't have any power. So... Guess I'm gonna have to go without that and have to go without that. Or I can keep that and just fire missiles. Great. It's about the only chance I have, I guess, which is awesome. Because of a stupid storm. Because I really need my FTL drive to get out of here ASAP. Alright, that's taken care of. I just have this laser thingy. Wow, missed. Yeah, this is a uh, not gonna go well. Uh, yeah, this is about to go. I'm about to die again. And then after this, I'm gonna be an NG just because, like I said, I seem to do so. I do so much better with them because these stupid fucking missiles. Suck so much. They seriously don't do a fucking thing. Go to the hangar. Uh, four enemy subsystems or subsystemed ion at the same time while using the NG cruiser. That's not that bad. Within the NG cruiser, destroy an enemy ship using only drones. No weapons. Alright. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and try and do that one. Alright, so this first thing I'm going to do, put you there, put you there. The first fight, all I'm going to do is put on a drone and just let them go at it and see what happens. Alright, so, this isn't going to go well, but whatever. Alright, see, we have another one of these assholes. See, now I have my own drone, I'm a different ship, and I have my NGs, which are these alien-looking fellers. That's a laser, doesn't do shit because I have a shield. 
That thing is pretty decent if I didn't have a shield. My shield's probably going to restore back before that thing fires, which is good. So in theory, I can do this. I wish I could control this guy, and I'd seriously just make him attack that thing. Alright. Alright, it's hurting the row too. It's pretty sweet. Come on. I might as well just walk away and see what happens. <laughs> no one's winning! Oh my god, this is annoying as shit, actually. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Okay, so, so far we've done no damage to either, to e to either of us. Alright, I'm gonna give this a little, <laughs> just, just like another minute to see if it finally shoots the stupid shield. I needed to hit this while the shields are down. Come on. Actually, what I'm what I'm gonna do actually is since this is just gonna be luck, maybe I guess. Um, is I'm going to stop recording and I'm gonna wait for this thing to die with only this drone right here. So yeah, I'll see you all either in five minutes if this works or unless if it doesn't. So I will be right back. All right, so we got a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's gonna work because this guy's trying to escape and leave. So unless if he gets a bunch of really lucky shots off, which I understand how this thing works now, but honestly, it's far too random. So this guy's probably, yeah, he's leaving. Well, that sucked. All right. Well then, I will wait till I see an opportunity where that would best be used. Um. Nothing. Because there are occasional ships that do have uh, no shields. Alright, so... I'm just going to leave this guy to his devices now, unfortunately. I need some ice. That was easy. Alright. I'm just going to go straight for the exit. Once again, I just go for the shield and let him do whatever he needs. That sucks. I really do need shields. That's no good. I prefer... 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 I prefer scratch right frow. William, go back to your station. Thank you. Alright. Oh, wait. Let's, uh, repair that. Stick and Banks and Williams. Nice. You go there. You go back there. Let's get the hell out of here. Human corpses scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal. Lones fire. They lock themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with them and tow back the ship and hope they can recover enough of something to use. Sweet. I have another guy now. Uh, I prefer... 